Introduction to Deaf People. Hello. I'm happy that you've come to my presentation. First, I want to ask the interpreter not to interpret this. Go ahead and please go ahead, interpreter, and continue. Some of you have been sitting there thinking, how come the interpreter is not saying anything? Is the interpreter here for me? Because I don't know how to speak free, speak out loud. The interpreter is here for you because you don't know American Sign Language. For me, she voices, and for you, she signs so both of us can understand each other. I want to emphasize that point that the interpreter is here for both of us. So right now I'm going to ask you questions and you can give me the answer what you think is the best answer. Please keep in mind that there is no right answer I, you're here to learn. We're only here for an hour and for you to absorb everything you can't. We're just going to touch on several ideas so that when you go outside, leave from here, you can go ahead on your own, go ahead and learn on your own. Please, uh, if you have any questions, please ask me at any time. It's very important that you do ask me before you leave. I want to be able to answer all your questions. Uh, many people are, are afraid to ask deaf people questions, but please uh, feel free to go ahead and ask me. So while I'm giving my presentation and asking you questions, you can answer them and we can um, figure out how many people said either choices. First question is, what is the best way to dis word to describe a person who can't hear? A, deaf, B, hard of hearing, th C, hearing impaired, D, physically disabled, or last answer, you just don't know. How many chose the first answer? Deaf. Okay, some of you, maybe 10 people said deaf. How many of you said hard of hearing? Raise your hands. I expect a lot of answer, uh, a lot of hands to go up. Okay, great. How many of you said hearing impaired? Raise your hands. Okay, maybe about three of you. How many of you said physically disabled? Nobody said that. Okay. How many just don't know? Please raise your hands. Okay, great. The best answer is A, deaf. Deaf is a clear meaning that we um, deaf is means deaf culture. We're involved with American Sign Language, our own language. It's who we are. About half of America, a wide range of Americans, range from deaf, hard of hearing, and hearing impaired. Out of those people, three hundred thousand are deaf because of hearing loss. 
and out of that, 40,000 are deaf, related to deaf culture. The next question I have for you is, how many of you feel that American Sign Language is a universal sign language? Uh, true or false, please. Raise your hand if you think it's true. And how many answered false? Please raise your hand. Okay, all of you said false. Cool. You are all right. Each country has its own sign language. Here in America, we use American Sign Language, and it has its own f grammatical features, body language, different sentence structure, and the interpreter here really needs to practice and learn this language. It's not something you can learn from a book. You, re you really need to practice, learn what it looks like, and be able to sign it and also interpret it in word and speech. Another example of American Sign Language is the word run. In English, run, if you're using the word run, it, it depends on its context. Run could be runny nose, running water, uh, you're like you're running or like running a race or running fleeing so the interpreter actually has to wait and see what type of context that word run is how that r word run is used in interesting isn't it do you think a lot oh, another question is do you think a lot of hearing impaired people read lips true or false okay how many said true and how and how many of you said false? Okay, a few, eight or nine of you said false. Okay, you guys are right. Research says that 30% of deaf people can pick out some words and read lips, but most of them are assuming when they read lips. And some of, you know, I also miss words when I try to read lips. Let me give you an example. Two words. And she's... Please try to guess what word I'm trying to say. People say test. Another person said sit. Another person said ten. Some people said yes. How about this word? Some person said sex. So another person said sex. Okay. Some other person said six. Okay. Really, I'm just trying to imitate the words that I'm trying to say. So imagine these words are so hard to see on lips. And most of us are really guessing when we read lips or assuming so people think that we can assume that we can l read lips but it's really not true because it's hard to, it's really hard to di differentiate between those words I just gave you for example the word 50 cents or 15 cents it's really hard to differentiate between those two words I wouldn't want to be taken advantage of if someone said to me f 15 cents when I thought it was 50 cents. Do you under you guys get my point? Do you think all of do you think all of you can copy sign? How many say true or uh, true or false? How many of you said false? Half of you, maybe. 
Ten of you said false, and ha ten of you didn't know the answer. Really, is the answer is false. No. Some students learn how to read, uh, how to study American Sign Language, but you can't learn directly from the book. You really need to go out and practice the language, be involved with deaf culture, see body language, and, and involve different features of emotional expression. So you just can't go out and learn from a book and learn sign language from a book. You really have to practice and be involved in the deaf community and practice hands-on the language.